All right, we're starting our castle project. The first thing we have to do is we have to make the mot. That's the little bump or the hill that the castle is going to sit on. So again, let's draw our part. We're going to start our 2D sketch. Now I'm going to look down from the top. So I'm kind of drawing the top view. So I'm going to click this XZ plane this time. And first, it told us in our constraints that we want a 4-inch diameter mot that our castle is going to sit on. So I'm going to make a couple circles just to give me some guides. Because how do you know how big 4 inches in here? So I'm going to make one 4 inches, hit enter, and then I'm going to make a second circle. I'm going to make it 5 inches, hit enter, and then you click your top here. Okay, I just spun it because I like it, you know, I'm like that. I like my top to say top instead of sideways. Now you can see I have my two circles. Okay, so these were just a guide for me. So I'm going to make the bottom of the mot first. I'm going to make it kind of 5 because I want the hill to taper up. So I'm going to take something called a spline. So if you click the drop down arrow under the line tool, you'll see spline. There's two different kinds. I like the interpolation. They really work about the same, so it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to draw a little squiggly line. I don't want to go inside the four. And I want to stay kind of close to the five. I can go outside a little bit if I want, but just make kind of a squiggly little line as we go around. Kind of going around the five inch circle. Okay, but we want that 4 there because we don't want to go inside the 4. And then you connect them at the end. Okay, so we have two circles and a squiggly line. All right, so we're going to finish our sketch. Hit the little house so it zooms out we can see what we have. So we have kind of looks like an egg or something we just cooked, right? <coughs> All right, so now we need to make what's called a work plane because we have to have another sketch that sits above this sketch. So we're going to go find make a work plane, another like piece of paper that we're going to draw on. So we click the drop down on plane, and we're going to make a plane that's offset from the plane we currently drew on. Okay, but it's like, where do I see that plane? I don't, but if I click on the origin, those are the planes. Remember, what did I draw? I drew on the XZ plane, so there it is. See how when I hover over XZ, it turns pink? So I'm just going to click it over here in the model bar, and it turned blue. Okay, so now it has this little arrow. I can grab the arrow and move it up and down, or I can just type in the box. I'm going to put mine one inch above, so my little in, my hill is going to be one inch high, and click the check mark. And now you can see I have this new piece of paper to draw on, and you see over in this uh, model bar that I have something called work plane. If I right click on work plane, I can make a new sketch. And now it's drawing on that kind of tan, orangey looking piece of paper that's in front of me. My other piece of paper sitting underneath it. I can still see it, which is perfect. And that's why I've already drawn these little guidelines. Now I'm going to go get my spline tool again. And I'm going to draw another circle inside, or it's just not a circle, another squiggly line inside the first squiggly line. This kind of goes around the 4 inch. Okay, it doesn't have to match perfect, but you want it fairly close. Okay, try not to get it so it jumps outside. But if you do, it's not that big a deal. And connect the ends. Okay? So now I have two squiggly lines. So I'm going to finish my sketch. And you can see now that they're above each other. If I look from the front, see I have those two pieces of paper sitting up above each other. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to connect those two. So remember on piece number 11 with isometrics, we used loft to cut a chunk out that was weird shaped. Now we're going to connect two pieces that are weird shaped. So we're going to click our loft tool. We're going to add two sketches. So we're going to add sketch one. Okay. When we click sketch one, we just want this squiggly part. So after we click it over in the model bar, and then we have to come out here and we have to highlight not, not the circle, not the circle, but the squiggly part. Okay. So we got the squiggly part, and then we're going to click sketch two. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to click click to add. Then click sketch two, and then we're going to say okay, and it will connect my two pieces. All right, so I can see from the front, I have this kind of thick piece, and you can see it's kind of all wavy and goofy looking. And then if I look down from the top, I've got this bumper hill, and now I can draw my castle on this top part. And that is how to make your mod.